Dwight from Mountain Yodas in Wheat Ridge, Colorado, and I'm gonna be walking you through the build on this third gen Tacoma that has a Marlin Crawler RCLT HD kit, Fox DSC two and a half long travels, and an archive kit on the rear. We'll go through the pros and cons of everything and just cover all the details. All right, so the star of the show is the Marlin Crawler RCLT HD kit, and this one's the plus three and a half kit, which gives you seven inches of width over stock. Now, there's a lot of pros to having this kit. It comes with lower control arms, upper control arms, spindles, new CVs, and an LC200 steering rack with machined tie rods. Now, one of the biggest parts about installing the RCL THD kit is the steering rack replacement. We take out the stock Tacoma rack, which is known to have problems, especially as you bump up even to 35s, but beyond 35s, like on 37s that this kit can handle, it's a known weak point. So what we do is we put in a Land Cruiser 200 rack, it comes with the kit, and uh, machined tie rods. So you're gonna be totally fine. You're not gonna have to worry about breaking your steering rack while you're out in the middle of nowhere by yourself. This kit also comes with upper control arms and lower control arms that are absolutely unbreakable. They are not only three and a half inches wider, but it also sets your tires one and three quarter inches further forward than the stock location. That allows you to clear up to a 37 inch tire without even having to get a cab mount chop. That's pretty crazy. Uh, you usually have to do a cab mount relocate on 35s. So the fact that you don't even have to do a chop to get the 37s with this kit, it's pretty amazing. Now, spindles are a huge problem. That's another known weak point besides the steering rack and tie rod ends once you go with bigger tires on a Tacoma. Spindles just fall apart. A lot of people do gusseted spindles. These spindles on this RCL THD kit weigh like 85 pounds each. It's insane. When you hold these, you're like, it's obvious these are not going to break. I can't imagine them breaking. Even people running King of the Hammers and just doing insane stuff off-road with these spindles, there's no way these are going to break unless you do something absolutely insane. Let's talk about the CV axles that come with the Marlin Crawler kit. CVs are a known weak point on Tacomas as well as you bump up tire size. I've broken them myself and uh, seen it many times. This kit comes with RCV axles. They're basically indestructible. You could break them, I suppose, but I haven't seen it. They are about $2,200 alone. So uh, if you're gonna go ahead and go long travel, spend the extra money, get RCVs, and it's one more thing that you don't have to worry about while you're off-roading. Now the Marlin Crawler kit also comes with bump stops, but they're really not a real bump stop. I would recommend going with locked hydro bumps. If I was running this kit and already putting this type of money into my vehicle, I'm gonna go ahead and do hydro bumps and I recommend locked off-road for those. Okay, let's talk about drivability because once you get into the realm of 37 inch tires, there are some considerations to make. In the past when you're off-roading, Getting to 37s, most people would do a solid axle swap to get a truck that's as capable as something like this. Marlin Crawler has kind of made solid axle swaps obsolete, okay? There's still some considerations. You can't just daily drive a solid axle swap vehicle and expect it to perform anywhere near a stock vehicle. Now this truck running 37s, it's still on IFS and it still will be daily driverable, but it does feel like a tank. Not gonna lie to you, driving it feels different. You're on 37s. You've added a ton of weight to the front of your truck. Even if you're re-geared like this one on 529 gears, it's still gonna feel heavy. It feels more like you're driving a tank and even with the Land Cruiser 200 series steering rack, it is harder to steer than a stock vehicle. Any of you who have gone up to 35s understand that, but this is just adding a lot more weight to the front end. As something to think about. If you're thinking about doing this and daily driving it, it's, it's just a little bit different. It would take some getting used to. I took it on the highway, I took it off road. It's just a different experience. Now the benefit is it's so much more capable off road. Your flex is insane. You have a lot more travel. And I mean, just look at it. You're running 37s. It's perfect. This kit is gonna get you everything you need to get off road, be long traveled, but you're gonna need some shocks obviously. And this customer decided to go with Fox DSC two and a half long travel shocks. We got them from Poly Performance. Shout out to you guys. That about covers everything on the front that we did to this truck, but let's jump to the back and see what's going on there. All right, so the rear end of this truck right now, 
I will tell you, we need to do the leaf spring still, but this customer lives in Montana and he needs his truck back for the time being, so we will be upgrading the leaf springs at a later date. Right now, there's just blocks underneath, which we don't like here. We're all about functionality and we're all about getting rid of blocks and spacers at all costs. So eventually, I'm hoping that he replaces this rear axle and we do it the right way. But in the meantime, everything else done here has been done the right way because we have the archive garage relocate that enables us to stuff a Fox DSC 16 inch shock. And it's actually the DSC two and a half in there too. Archive's the only place putting this out off the shelf. It obviously requires some fab work, but man, being able to put a 16 inch shock in here, that's a two and a half. It's a great kit. We love Archive Garage's setup. We also have the Archive Garage hammer hangers in the back. This thing gets a ton of droop. Even with blocks in there and just stock springs, this is getting a lot of flex in the rear in particular. I can't wait to see it on other springs. There you have it guys, Marlin Crawler RCLT HD plus three and a half inch kit with the Archive Garage setup in the back and Fox DSC two and a half long travel setup. We think it's a great start to an amazing build. There's a few things left to do on this truck, but man, talk about off-road capability. That's what we're all about here at Mountain Yodas. If you need anything, feel free to reach out anytime. Visit mountainyodas.com. We'd love to set you up and build you a functional truck too.